Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, I was finally able to get the, these guys here to calm down. This tank is pretty, pretty peaceful as far as a African cichlid tank goes. So um, that's a victory for a cichlid keeper, believe me. <laughs> but now, now that I have this tank calmed down, my South American tank, they've, they've started losing their minds. So uh, let, let's, uh, Let's talk about it. Never a dull moment for a sickle keeper, right? Let's get into it. This tank continues to be relatively peaceful. Surprisingly, when you consider that some of the fish in this tank are very aggressive. We've got an eye biter in here. Nipochromis living stone eye. There is a Venusus and some good sized fish in here, but they seem to be getting along fine and not picking on the smaller fish like the OB or the Bicolor 500. They're not being targeted by anybody. So uh, it's a good scene in here. And it came about primarily by just removing the fish that were overly aggressive in particular the Phoenix, which has moved over to this 55 gallon and is currently in solitary confinement. Why? Because I've gotten some new fish that were put into this side of a divided 55 gallon. But of the new fish, surprisingly, right, there's a uh, Placodon, I think it's pronounced, a uh, turquoise half, and a Fusco, and a Taiwan Reef that you see down there in the corner. The Taiwan Reef started beating everybody up. So I moved him over to this side, to the right side of the tank, where the uh, Phoenix was at, and they started immediately to lip lock each other, and it was getting pretty nasty. So I had to put the Phoenix in solitaire, and uh, it's a very pretty Taiwan Reef. And he started off very docile on the left side with these guys. And then just sort of, after being pushed around a bit by everybody, started fighting back and eventually got pretty, pretty rough. This tank is great. Everybody is getting along fine and peaceful here. But in this tank here, there's been some problems. Now, full disclosure, I haven't, I haven't told you about some fish. I've been keeping them under wraps. I picked up some additional viejas. There's one right there. Beautiful fish. There's my original vieja. And there's one more vieja hiding in the back Hopefully he'll come out so I can show you who's taking a bit of a beating. After watching the tank for a while, my first assumption was that the vieja, one of the viejas was beating up another vieja. Well, as it turned out, it was actually, there he is. See the marks on his body where he took some shots? He's a little bit beat up, he's recovering. He still gets harassed a little bit by the other ones, but not the way he was being harassed by the uh, Green Severum, who is over here. Green Severum is in this little holding tank. Just hiding in the corner and very upset that I've isolated him. Here's my confidential planted tank project, which I'll talk to you about in a few weeks. So, I've had to shuffle some fish around just to just to control the aggression and uh, and to accommodate the new viejas. This one here is just gorgeous, beautiful markings. There's the Jack Dempsey. Always seems to be looking good. A little darker today than usual. Nicaragua cichlid back there chasing the other Nicaraguan. 
there he is, you can see, took some bad shots. But he's eating and active and recovering, and he's not lip locking. He was lip locking with that, with that severum. The is looking good. Love the markings on the new Vieja back there. Eventually, these fish in here will be together with those other South Americans. Right? You got chocolate. Some red spotted gold severums. Even some little green tares down here. Little baby green tares. And some uh, redhead tapahos. They all think it's time to eat. They always think it's time to eat. Baby green tears from Brandon, the blind fish keeper on YouTube. Now, one thing I predict is that if these fish go into a bigger tank, they'll stop getting into these kinds of scuffles. I know D. Darius has a 300 gallon, he still gets aggression issues sometimes. But I think that this particular combination of fish with more swim room. I think they're going to do a lot better. And that's where that 300 gallon tank comes in. So it's a constant balancing act. You think you got it nailed down and uh, you get some new curves thrown at you. But the good news, <laughs> in a few weeks, I'll have these beauties in the 210. They all seem to be pretty chill. And we'll see how this uh, how this Taiwan reef does in the big tank with a lot of other fish. I think I think he'll do fine in there. This one here, I think I'm probably going to give away. He's proven to me that he's just a plain troublemaker. And uh, this tank continues to be pretty chill. I'm filming today with a uh, iPhone Pro Max, 13 Pro Max. I, I was finally able to upgrade from my old iPhone 8. Thanks in no small part to the support you folks give the channel. Look at that tangerine tiger, my God. So at any rate, that's the update. Probably the final uh, fish room update for 2021. And I appreciate you tuning in. I will see you on the 1st, on the 1st of January for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Let me know what you think of both the picture and the sound of this video because it is being filmed on something new and different. Let me know what you think about it. Here's the Energizer Bunny. Buchachromus notatania. It'll get a lot bigger than that. It'll get twice that size. All right. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell. And I will see you next time.